Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back with a project for um, my series, 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween. I did this series a few years ago and just decided to bring it back and basically I do one Halloween project a week for 13 weeks up into the week of Halloween. Even if you don't um, like Halloween or follow, you know, make Halloween projects, you can pretty much fit most of the projects I'm going to do into any um, theme that you would like. I'm just choosing Halloween. So anyway, um, I used for my project today paper from the Happy Hauntings 6x6 paper pad and that's from the Paper Studio and you can, I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby, I don't, like two years ago, a year ago. Um, but I used some papers from this and cardstock and um, I seen this project on a blog and it is a Hershey Kisses treat box um, and also a gift card holder at the same time and I thought oh my gosh that's so cute I have to add it to my um, bucket list of projects that I want to do um, so I saw the tutorial on a blog I also saw a YouTube tutorial and I decided to put mine together and I my, did my measurements a little bit different because once I made the um, the gift card holder I thought well not everybody's gonna want to give a gift card but I love this this um, Hershey Kiss treat box so I made one that you could just make it into a greeting card and this is have hope you have a spooky fun Halloween so I can give you the measurements for that and then I thought well if you don't want to make it into a greeting card you can also kind of keep the same theme going here, but instead of using a gift card, you could make it into a tag card. And this also says, hope you have a spooky good Halloween. And the measurements are a little bit different for this one as well. Okay, and it's just covered with designer paper. Okay, so the, this is the back on all of them. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to put this one together for the gift card holder. Um, but I'll also, like I said, give you the measurements for the tag if you would rather use a tag, show you how to put that together, and I'll also give you the measurements for the greeting card one, and that way you guys have three options of, you know, what you want to go with. Okay? So let me set these aside, and we're going to get started. You're going to need a sheet of cardstock that measures nine and three quarters, by six and three quarters and you want to line it up on your scoreboard and at the nine and three quarter mark and score at two and three quarter five and a quarter six and a quarter seven and a quarter eight and a quarter and nine and a quarter inches and then you want to flip it and score at the one inch mark on both sides. So score, flip it around, and score at the one inch on the other side. Let me put my scoreboard aside. And now what I did was fold up all my score lines. This one here though, um, I'm not going to fold because you really don't need to. So I'm just going to fold this piece up top down. Okay, and then I'm going to fold my two side panels. Okay, and then what we're going to end up doing is cutting the two um, small pieces here and these two side panels up here. I'll show you how to. Okay. Cut this one off. Then we're just going to cut our four little squares here on the score lines to meet up with the other score line. We're going to leave those on and then we're going to cut these two panel pieces off. Okay. Same thing on the other side. You want to cut this off here. And then you want to cut 
your score lines for your four pieces here. Just cut up to the next score line. And then you want to cut this little tiny piece off here. So you should have a little half inch flap here, then four one inch panels, and then your two panels up here with your four sides cut. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put this together. This is the inside of your box, so what you're going to want to do at this point is flip it over. And then on the bottom piece here, I added two sided tape. Whoop, sorry, I bumped my camera, guys. There we go. I added two sided um, tape to this. So I'm going to put that on there and then forget about it for a little bit. Put that aside. And then these four panels I covered with pattern paper. And for those measurements, you're going to need four pieces and they measure um, four and five eighths by seven eighths. And I'm using liquid glue. And I'm just going to glue them all on. Now this doesn't have a pattern where it matters if it's upside down or not. But if you're going to do this where the skeleton heads are going in the right direction, see back here they're facing up, you're going to want to put your paper opposite here. Um, so instead of like all the skeleton hats facing up, you're going to want to turn it around and face them in the opposite direction for these three pieces and then right side up for this piece, okay? Because this is the back of your box. And you'll know what I mean when you when you go through it and do it. If you have a pattern paper like that, just be careful how you put it on. But for this one, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to add my pieces here. And then for your window piece, what I did, I don't have a punch to like punch out my window. So I cut a piece of paper that I can trace to cut out my window. And that piece of paper, just call it my window template, it measures four and three eighths by one half inch. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. And then once you have that cut out, you're going to want to add your window to the inside. And I'll give you the measurements for that as well. Okay, so now that I have my four panels on, eventually when I fold up my box, this piece here needs a window. So if you count from the bottom, not this half inch piece, but the first panel, the second panel up, is where you're going to want to put your template, okay, and you're going to want to try and center it as best you can. Trace it out. And then I use my knife to cut it out. Okay, I get my knife here. Put that template piece aside. Oh, and you know what, guys? I need my glasses for this. <laughs> okay, just cut out this window. Then you're going to need a clear piece of acetate to actually make your window. If you don't have, you can buy, you know, clear acetate at the craft store. But if you don't have it, I just save the acetate from my embellishment packs that I get. Okay, so you cut that out. So you have your half inch piece your first panel, your second panel should have a window, your third and your fourth. Then you're going to want a piece of this clear acetate. That measures 
four and a half by three quarter inches wide. And so what I am doing, and I'm just going to add some adhesive right around the edge here of the piece that I just cut out. You can use any adhesive you're, you want. I'm using the Art Glitter Glue. And I'm going to add that in there. And then I'm going to use my bone folder and just really push it down and get a, wipe off any excess glue that might have gotten on it. Okay, so now I have my clear window. Flip it back around and before we close it up, we're gonna put a, wanna put our pattern paper on here. Okay, so this piece here, the, which is gonna be your front flap, you're gonna want a piece that measures for the gift card holder your front piece should measure four and a half by two and a half inches, which is this one. Nope, it's this one. By two and a half inches. Okay, and that leaves you a nice little border. And then your back panel piece here for the gift card, you're going to want a piece that measures four and a half by two and three eighths. Now, for your tag, um, holder you can measure the same way but to create your tag okay this piece here you're going to want a tag that measures four and three eighths by two and a quarter and then the mat the white mat that I put on it measures four and a quarter by two and one eighth so that's the difference there okay if you want to make it into a greening card you're going to want this top panel piece here. You're going to want to put this back in your cutter and cut off a quarter of an inch. And that's it. Because when you assemble this, this piece actually goes below this score line here. But when you're making the greeting card, you don't want that. You want it to be flush with the top of the box so that you can open it up in your greeting card. So when you're done with all your scoring and measuring and you want to make the greeting card, make sure you cut a quarter inch off this top piece, okay? And you're not going to glue it down like we're about to do. What you want to do is then cut yourself a white piece, this piece here for the inside, um, at four and a half by two and three eighths. Your front panel piece will be four and a half by two and three eighths. And your back panel piece will be four and a half by two and three eighths. So that's three pieces, same measurements. And that's for the greeting card one. So all you're gonna do is fold up your box here and assemble that and then put your pieces on. And you can use a clip like I did to keep your box closed, but you don't have to. You could just hand it out like that. Completely up to you. Okay, but to assemble it for the gift card holder, I'll show you what we're going to do. So let's get our panel pieces on here. Remember, this piece is going to go down, so you want to make sure you have it turned the right way. Let's put that piece on. And then we're going to put our back piece on here. Oop, I had it facing the right way the first time. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to use 
my one inch circle punch and I'm going to line it up in the center here and cut myself a half circle. You don't have to do that, it's optional. If I were going to be doing the tag card at this point, I would add adhesive to the top, the side, and close it. Okay, side and this top piece here and close it down. Then I would assemble my box. But for because we're doing the gift card one, you want to put a stopper in here so that the gift card doesn't slide completely through to the other end. Okay, so all I did right here was take another piece of score tape and you kind of line it up where you want it to go. So I want my, my gift card to stick out a little bit from the box. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape here and that way it will slide in and it will only go to this piece of tape. It won't go any further. So I'm going to peel that up and then I'm going to add right to the very tip or edge of this, I'm going to add adhesive and then adhesive on the side. Okay, so gift card, you put the stopper in with a piece of tape. Tag card, you don't do that. You just add adhesive to your edges and fold it down. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Hopefully, I explain that okay. Okay, so now when you slide your gift card in, it stops because you have that tape in here. Okay, next step is to pull this tape off. And what I did was I folded this down, okay, and then I folded it in half. And it just lays better that way push it down up here and then pop it open. Now you're going to fold four sides down, add adhesive to one of the squares, and close the box. Now you could just put your Hershey Kisses in here, but they will slide around in your box if you don't adhere them down. So you can cut yourself a sheet for your kisses and that measures four and three quarters by three quarter inches. I'm going to put some double sided tape on it. I got these kisses at the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar a bag and I was able to create four um, of these gift boxes with them five on in each box. So that's not a bad deal. Okay, I'm going to slide them in. And then I'm going to close up this side. You could put a little adhesive on here because um, I'm sure the person's going to know they just need to tear into this section here to get the kisses out. So there's our kisses. And then at this point, you pretty much can decorate your box any way you want. I already have my um, jars stamped and cut out like here and I have my sentiment so I'm going to put those on and I have these on pop dots and put that there and I'm going to slide my gift card in. So there you go guys. Gift card way. You can make it with a tag or you can make a greeting card style. You guys have all the measurements. If you have any questions, let me know. Happy Halloween project and have fun making yours. Thanks for watching. Take care.